Hey everyone, welcome back to Break Take Stacking. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about some deals that I've seen on some gold and some silver. I know that uh, times have been tough with the uh, the premiums being a bit high, and uh, I have seen a, a few opinions on it in my comments on some videos. I do know that some people have been uh, picking up just the same as they were uh, before all of this craziness happened with the uh, the increase in premiums. And uh, if you've been stacking for a while and uh, you know you have a pretty big stack, you know, a couple, couple thousand ounces or something like that, or if you've been stacking for a long time, you might be able to keep uh, buying up your American Silver Eagles and your Maples and uh, not have a huge uh, dent in your uh, dollar cost average. Uh, but for stackers like me and people that have just started out, especially for someone like me who has just started out in 2020 with prices the way they were, uh, the dollar cost average for me is already pretty high. And uh, if I were to continue buying at these prices, it would just completely break it. And uh, yeah, it just uh, right now it doesn't make sense for me to be buying like that. So I have been trying to look for some of the deals and some of the uh, silver, some of silver and gold. Like I said, uh, there have been some things that haven't been affected uh, too much by some of the premium and uh, if you've been looking at some of my recent videos where I've been picking up or some of my orders have been coming in I mean I have had some uh, silver come in that was placed before everything happened with the uh, premium hike but uh, I have had a couple of orders come in uh, since then and uh, if you've seen any of those videos you'll know that I've been uh, getting primarily the half dollars and uh, the Kennedys are what they've been sending me I get the random option, so they have a choice of sending me Franklin's, Walker's, or Kennedy's. And uh, I've been getting mainly Kennedy's, which I don't mind because they have all been in this very, very nice condition. So I'm not uh, not too upset that I've been getting these very nice Kennedy's. And uh, I've also been looking at picking up some fractional gold. I've picked up a couple of quarter ounce pieces, a uh, tenth ounce, and a dose pesos came in in last video, in my last video. And I said, uh, I put it in a capsule that's a little bit too big for it. This one, uh, this capsule is the size for a 20th ounce, and it's a 14 millimeter capsule, while this dos pesos happens to be a 13 millimeter coin. So there is that little bit of movement, but I do really, really like this uh, peso. And I gotta thank Fish for getting me into that. I've seen his videos talking about the fractional gold and the Mexican pesos. And uh, now I wanna pick up each of the, the different sizes that they have. But yes, I have been enjoying picking up fractional gold while I've been waiting out some of these premiums. Uh, but what I want to do in this video is want to show you the website that I've been using. It's a Silver Gold Bull. I'm up in Canada, so uh, there are some differences. So I will be showing the Canadian site and the American site. Uh, there are some subtle differences. Obviously with the price, there's gonna be a difference, but uh, they do have some inventory uh, differences. So you might be able to pick something up in Canada or in the States that you might not in the other country. So uh, I will briefly just show the American one as well. And uh, I just want to show you some of the uh, items that have been catching my eye and uh, a few deals that are still out there to be had, uh, even though we are dealing with these, uh, dealing with these prices. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump onto the computer. I just said Silver Gold Bull, and uh, I'm going to quickly show you some of the uh, some of the deals that uh, that are still out there. Okay, so this is the website. I'm sure you've all been on Silver Gold Bull before, but uh, I'm going to be starting on the Canadian one because this is where I've been seeing. Well, this is what I've been using because I live up in Canada. But like I said, I will be showing the American uh, in a in a second here. But I'm going to show you the Canadian coins. There's going to be the maples uh, showing some of these prices here, where you have the one ounce random year uh, Canadian, and then they got the, the tenth ounce and the quarter ounce up here on this uh, first row. So you can see here that it's $279 Canadian for the tenth ounce, and then it's $682 uh, for the quarter ounce. And uh, there they've got the selection here. Uh, you know, it's a little bit more for the 2021 one ounce than the random year. And uh, if you wanted to go with the War of 1812 coin that I have, that's a very nice coin. That one ounce coin is a little bit cheaper, or not a little bit cheaper, it's quite a bit cheaper than this quarter ounce coin. That's about almost a $20 difference between the two coins there, the Maple Leaf and the War of 1812 coin. That's why I picked it up because the premiums on this one was a little low. So I did pick up that one. 
Um, but what I'm going to do, because so this is the Canadian gold, I'm going to go over to Australian gold and I'm going to keep those numbers in mind. Uh, for the one ounce, uh, you know, if you're in the market for the one ounce, but I'm talking about the fractional stuff is where I've been seeing these prices kind of jumping out at me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Australian coins. 279 for a tenth ounce or you can get this uh, battle of the coral sea gold coin and it's 263 dollars for the tenth ounce so that's what 16 dollar difference but here is where you see an even bigger difference with the uh the quarter ounce random kangaroo where it is uh where it is 30 dollars. it was 683 for the quarter ounce maple and here you can see that it's uh 653 for the uh kangaroo and I mean, you can't really complain with that uh, with that difference there. I think they do have another tenth ounce piece down here. So this tenth ounce piece is actually a little bit more than that one, but it's still much less than the two seventy nine for the tenth ounce maple leaf. And uh, here's a slabbed one if you're interested in a, a perfect seventy decam uh, gold coin here. Uh, but you know, you're gonna be paying a little bit of a premium there with the being slabbed. But that's what I've been going with, and that's what I ordered is another one of these random year kangaroos. Yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you the American site here, where it's on the Canadian coins. Uh, let me just go down here where we got it. So there you see the prices: two seventeen for the tenth, two nineteen for the quarter, and it's two ninety eight for that quarter there. So there you go, that's a really good deal. That's a $20 difference in these two quarter ounce coins. So if you wanted to save $20 on some Canadian gold, then you'll definitely be able to do that with the uh, the quarter ounce 1980. And I did show this coin in a recent video. It is a very, very nice coin. Uh, it is from 2012, so it doesn't have those radial lines or anything like that. It's before they, uh, they incorporated that into the coin. But it's still a very beautiful design. And what I'll do is I'll go over to the Australian coins to see the difference. So it was 217 and 519. Let's see what the difference is with the Australian coins. If you were looking to pick up a tenth. So the tenth ounce here, you're going to be uh, at... Two dollars and seven cents. So I actually forgot what the price was. Bear with me here. I'm stupid. Uh, the tenth ounce. Uh, so you're going to be saving ten bucks on a tenth ounce coin if you're interested in that. If you go with the kangaroo over the maple leaf, and uh, actually you'll be getting a better deal with the um, War of 1812 coin. Uh, than you would if you were to go with the kangaroo on this site. So this site's a bit different. It's very close, you know, it's only a couple of dollars, but the quarter ounce kangaroo is 500 uh, compared to the 519 for the maple leaf. And um, yeah, the War of 1812 was the 498 for that. And I didn't show any of the American, uh, in, uh, the American Eagles in Canada because there wasn't any fractional. It was just the one ounce. Uh, but I will look here and show you the comparisons for the American Silver Eagles for the, sorry, Silver, so the American Gold Eagles. And just like the Canadian site, it is uh, it is just the one ounce that you can get. You can get a random year or the 2021. Uh, so there is no fractional option there. So uh, I did just want to show you this uh, if you are interested for the gold. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the Canadian side first. Just put in half dollar. I can't type today. I'm sorry. Half. Why is that not? There we go. Half dollar. Put that in there. And it will show you some prices here. Where is it? Okay. So there you go. The random year uh, walking liberty here is $19 Canadian. Uh, or you can go for the just random here is the $50 face value half dollar circulated so you can get a Walker a Kennedy or a Benjamin so remember just getting the Walker would be 1948 if you went for this option here you'd be paying 1569 so obviously you uh, that's the one that I've been going with it has been a very very good deal going just with the random circulated one 
uh, you know, you're going to be saving close to four dollars here per coin. Uh, where is it? Yeah, well, we, 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 yeah, close to four dollars, and uh, it's a little bit different on the American side. You're actually getting a pretty good deal on the Franklins on the American side, but I just want to show you here: fifteen sixty-nine compared to sixteen seventy-seven for the Franklin. And going down, see, this is where it doesn't make sense at all because if you look at the sixty-four Kennedy, you get it for <clears throat> you get it for eighteen eighty. I've only been getting Kennedys in this order, and I've been getting them for fifteen sixty-nine. So you're either going to pay eighteen eighty for the Kennedy and know that you're going to be getting a Kennedy, or you can pay the fifteen sixty-nine, roll the dice on what you're going to be getting, and uh, in my case. Uh, in the past couple of orders, I've ordered ten dollars face value, and nineteen of the twenty nineteen of the twenty coins have been uh, the Kennedys. So uh, I'm really not sure why they have it like set up like this, where it's such a huge discrepancy, uh, and it's so clearly this is the best deal on the site for the silver coins at least. So that's what I've been picking up, and I'll show you the American what I'm talking about here. I'll just type in half dollar. And it will show you the same kind of thing where it's the 13.79 for the uh, circulated. But then if you look at the Franklin, it's 13.05. So 13.79 to 13.05, you know, it's a couple of cents or you know, close to a dollar difference. But if you really, really like the Franklin, then this is the way to go, obviously, because it is the, the cheapest option. Um, but if you um, don't mind, or if you just want to roll the dice and uh, see what they send you, then you can always go with this random circulated one. Uh, but it's much better than going just for the random year Walking Liberty, because that's 17, 1712 compared to 1305. But for me in Canada, the best price has been this random circulated one, and uh, the Franklin is a close second. So yeah, I'll leave a link in the description to the American and the Canadian site. Uh, I'm sure, as I said, all of you have uh, visited here before. But if you're interested in making some purchases during times where these high premiums are still affecting a lot of the silver and gold, then these are some options that, uh, that might uh, be uh, good for you. So yes, that was what I wanted to show you guys today is uh, uh, the deals that, uh, some of the deals that are still to be had on Silver Gold Bowl. Um, I do know that a lot of people, uh, they say that they don't like the junk silver or they don't want to pay the premiums on the fractional gold as it is. Uh, that's up to you. As I said, I'm not saying that this is the best deal and you'd be dumb not to be going with it. Some people have their own stacking strategy and stra uh, stacking plan and that does not include junk silver or fractional. So if that isn't in your stacking plans, then I completely understand why you wouldn't be uh, looking to pick anything up from here. Uh, but if you are, um, you know, if you've been stacking away some cash, waiting for an opportunity to pick up some silver, and uh, you want to pick up some gold or silver, then this might be some of the stuff if you don't mind picking up fractional or uh, junk silver. But uh, anyways, let me know what you've been doing in the comments, whether you've been picking up stuff here or there, or waiting uh, for the stuff that you stack primarily or exclusively, if you're just waiting on those prices to get back down to normal, and uh, you're just stowing away some cash until then. So yeah, if you're not opposed to picking up fractional gold or junk silver, then uh, you might want to take advantage of this. That's it for me today. Uh, thank you for watching the video, and I uh, hope you come back for the next one. Thank you.